Whilst 2019 has already seen a bunch of great single-player titles, many more still remain on the release calendar. I'm a huge fan of single-player games and in this video, I want to talk about the titles I'm personally anticipating the most. Whilst this isn't an exhaustive list of all titles being released this year, it does contain a very good mix of what will hopefully be some very interesting titles. Obsidian Entertainment have a very long history and a very long list of great games behind them. Fallout New Vegas, Pillars of Eternity, Neverwinter Nights and many more. Perhaps one of their most anticipated titles ever is the upcoming The Outer Worlds. This game is Obsidian Entertainment's very own creation and will be set deep within the vastness of space upon a region of colonized worlds. Sharing thematic similarities with the Fallout titles, players are set to explore an unfolding narrative in a large open world. Whilst many details are still to be forthcoming on exactly what to expect from the Outer Worlds, video releases from Game Informer go into some detail on what to expect. So far, the game looks great and is easily among my most anticipated titles of the year. The Legend of Zelda needs no introduction. However, this year Nintendo are returning to the series' roots with a remake of the original game, Link's Awakening. The title, to be released later in 2019, takes more than a little inspiration from the older 1993 title, retaining the Engel's top-down perspective. However, with the newer modern tech, the game gains massive visual improvements. Taking a slight leaf out of the visual style of the recent Yoshi's Crafted World, the new Link's Awakening title appears to opt for an almost handcrafted clay animation appearance. It's an approach which appears to work very well. Whilst there's no release date for Link's Awakening, we do know that it is coming to the Switch in 2019. And with rumours flying around that two new Switch models are also due for release at some point, it seems like the perfect timing for a new Zelda title. Wasteland 3 is a sequel to 2014's Wasteland 2, which in turn was a sequel to the 1988 title. The latest iteration, being developed by Inexile Entertainment, is due for release later this year. Now, Wasteland is a great series, heavily influenced by Fallout and with continued involvement from some of the original Fallout team, the Wasteland series is one of my favourite RPGs. The newest game is going to take players into a post-apocalyptic Colorado, taking on the role as a ranger squad. Keeping in tune with its old school roots, Wasteland 3 retains the traditional isometric perspective of recent similar titles such as Pillars of Eternity and Torment Tides of Numenera. Interestingly, this title was successfully crowdfunded in 2016 to a tune of $3 million, and the developers were recently purchased by Microsoft. As with Wasteland 2, expect some serious turn-based combat and a lengthy story, and the use of improved dialogue systems which had been developed for Torment Tides of Numenera. Now, some might say that Star Wars games have had their day, but Respawn Entertainment beg to differ with the upcoming Jedi Fallen Order. Scheduled for release on the 15th of November 2019, this is one highly anticipated single-player Star Wars game. For me, the single-player element is key here. I mean, seriously, it feels as though there hasn't been a quality single-player title for Star Wars for a very, very long time. Fallen Order takes place in the Star Wars timeline after Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. The objective will be to survive the ongoing hunting and slaughter of the Jedi by Imperial forces. Unfortunately, very little has been shown as to how the game actually plays. However, it seems likely that many players will be looking forward to using lightsabers and force powers. And whilst little is known about the game, it appears extremely likely that it will follow a linear open-world format similar to God of War. Unusually, for an EA title, Fallen Order will not have a multiplayer component and will not feature any microtransactions. Both of these are extremely good to hear. Keeping with space-themed games, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is a space sim putting players in the seat of a fully-fledged spaceship in a cowboy-themed sci-fi universe. Personally, I've been waiting for a large-scale single-player space sim for many, many years, and it looks as though this game will fulfil that. Whilst there currently isn't a set release date for this title, we do know that it's slated for a 2019 release. Players will be able to buy and upgrade new ships, get involved in trading, bounty hunting and a variety of missions, among numerous other things. 
The game also features a number of side activities such as darts and eight ball. All in all then, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw looks as though it will be a ton of fun and it's a game I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on. Another release for the Nintendo Switch, the Animal Crossing series is somewhat of a guilty pleasure of mine. The newest title is set for release in 2019 and recently got its first preview trailer which unfortunately didn't show any gameplay. However, it did highlight that the game looks to be retaining the cute art style and iconic characters. Animal Crossing also recently made its way to mobile platforms and unfortunately I just couldn't enjoy the game there. However, the Switch is a very different platform and just about every Nintendo title that has been brought to it has been a genuine pleasure. For that reason, I'm very much looking forward to seeing this one. So that pretty much brings us to an end of many titles on this list. There are of course a few other titles which I haven't put on here, primarily because we don't have a specific release date, and these include Cyberpunk 2077 and Death Stranding, and in other cases because they severely lack details, in the case of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Either way, there's certainly plenty to look forward to. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.